What's going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome back to Flotsam. So we checked this game out right when it first released. Um, it was a couple months ago, and fantastic, fun little game. Well, they've had a lot of reworks. They've done a lot of updates, and we're actually playing it in an experimental beta where they actually changed the like the whole uh, traveling and map redesign around. So this is a beta. This is experimental. So if there's any bugs, it is, you know, it's an, it's an experimental build. But we're going to hop in. We're going to do a new game. They already said previous saves will not work with this game. But uh, let's go ahead. Let's do it. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, don't forget to leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Now, I will have a link down below, of course. What should we call our new town? Um, it's it's always Zootopia, right? Uh, Z. Utopia. Yay! Start our adventure. Fantastic. So, ooh, it's our little town hall is different. It's a boat. Our town hall is like an actual boat. That's super cool. All right. So, uh, basically, what you do is you start off your city. Or you start off your city. Uh, resources, buoy markers. Um, and I think you can actually move your boat if I'm not mistaken. Is that a th uh, repair engine durability cans? Okay, all that fun stuff. So, um, yeah, I believe you can actually move your boat around now to get to little POIs to have people like, actually swim out there. But we need to throw out some buoys here. Uh, and we also need to increase the size of this. I want all of that. Fantastic. Uh, we're going to need that plastic. Ooh, we're going to need a bunch of wood too, though. <gasps> oh, you can zoom way out. Oh, that's how you select your new area. This is super cool. Oh, I love it. I love it. That is so cool. Oh, that is so very neat. All right. Now you can see we have a little dude swimming out and doing these things. Fantastic. Town movement. All right. Town movement. Okay. So you can actually move your town now. That's super cool. Uh, in the map view, you can move your town to move your town. You need a working engine and oil to fuel the journey. So we have oil here. Oil needed to move. Oil remaining after move. Okay. That's neato. So we have that. We have that. Very cool. Okay. So we're bringing back plastic. Now we need to start doing some building here. Uh, building stuff town okay so oh we need wood oh no that's plastic plastic wood uh drying rack is plastic okay water distiller all right cool cool food seaweed grower <gasps> Ooh, that's cool fish st <laughs> fish sticks good for drying fish on sticks can dry five items oh that's super cool oh that's super cool uh and then boats of course so, like I said, I have played this before. It's pretty neat. It's pretty fun. Uh, now, how many villagers do we have? We have three. Uh, engine requires repair. But, let's see. Let's click on here. Engine repair. Does it say what it requires to be repaired? Okay, I hit repair engine. But I don't know what it requires. Is that what it requires? Or is that... Oh, no. It's just it's being repaired. How's it being repaired, though? Out of what? I don't know. All right, engine's fully repaired. <laughs> it's good to go. Water, so water has been the biggest issue in this game since the beginning. Oh, I like this. I missed it so much. Buoy markers, uh, landmarks. Let's look at landmarks. All right, so basically landmarks are the same. Uh, they have different items. They can have uh, salvage, scra or scavenge, salvage, and rescue. Uh, so over here, I don't know what we have over here. Leaking water tower. Looks like it's probably gonna be a lot of salvage. Uh, this probably has some people on it. That's gonna be super handy as well. Uh, okay, can we do any building yet? All right, so we definitely need to do some building stuff. So I'm going to try to keep this as organized as possible. I'm going to try my best to keep this as organized as possible. So we have this giant propeller right here. So we cannot go like straight out like this. This is what I'd like to do. So we're actually going to go from these corners like this. That'll work. And then we're going to do the same thing off this corner, this corner, this corner. So we're going to be making our four corners like that. It's going to be kind of neato, I think. I think we'll see. But we definitely need to get some storage in here. So I think this little first area is probably going to be some storage. Uh, we also need some drying racks so we can dry some wood and or fish. How's our food situation? All right, we have 20 food, 20 water, but we cannot hesitate on that. Oil refinery, distiller. Uh, well, don't we have research? We do have research. OK, but we don't have any research points yet. So we need to get a boat. Um, I believe you get research points from these islands as well. <gasps> Look at that. We did a thing. We did a thing. All right, let's put a, uh, a small storage deal. We'll throw one right there. That allows us to store the things. But we got it. We got to get going. <laughs> we got to get going on some other stuff because we need food and water. Uh, we're going to have to get a boat for sure. Mooring point rope. We're not going to be able to do that because we have to do. Um, we have to get the woodworking shed for sure as well. 
so i'm gonna throw a buoy right here this is kind of it is a little far out but it should be okay now you don't have to worry about um you don't have to worry about okay like this giant whale right here i don't it's not gonna come up and eat our people if they're swimming in this area <laughs> it's okay they're fine that's not the point of the game but uh okay that guy's gonna do that how many people we have three people so let's actually let's put two people on this that way that third person's not just chilling there not doing anything because that'd be terrible all right and then i think we're gonna throw a drying rack right here as well now you can actually mark what you want stored in these right now i'm not super picky about it uh because like i said we're, we're super early but eventually we're probably going to be adjusting what is stored where and uh what things are done at each place essentially all right so our drying rack is good uh we're gonna be drying wood oh actually that's the only option now all right cool so what's gonna get on there it's gonna be dried we have got to get a distiller going remove salt from seawater to generate fresh water we've got to get that going because uh it's gonna be an issue if we don't uh we should be able to build some of these how much plastic do we have we have 24 so let's get this extended this way i want to max it out okay right there eight so we're gonna do that and then we're probably gonna get a distiller put on over here possibly oh this is new okay oil refiner refines oil from plastic waste oh so you can make your own oil that is super neato uh let's not do that yet though we got to get water going first <laughs> we need the water going first so i extended this out as well that way we get some more drying racks i know these people are sleeping on the ground because i don't have any houses for them i'm a terrible person it's fine they'll be all right but we gotta get more drying racks because we gotta get we gotta get serious amounts of wood going here uh and then we're gonna have to chop the wood turn it into firewood for the distiller that's why the distiller is kind of a uh it's kind of a interesting thing all right there we can make a distiller fantastic we gotta get this guy going like right now we <laughs> they need water um let's see let's go ahead and get this guy right there but if i'm not mistaken we're gonna need a workshop to get that guy actually doing anything oh a drying rack small drying rack oh there's a larger drying rack oh darn it all right woodworking shed that needs to happen next because that's gonna make the uh the firewood that's gonna drive the distiller i do believe i don't think the distiller I don't think they changed the distiller that much to where it wouldn't require firewood all right let's see uh so distiller does require fuel and it requires a person as well so the person has to be over there to actually do that uh fuel is going to be firewood which we don't currently have we only have 11 water left we we gotta get going on that oh my gosh we need this woodworking shed uh three three more pieces of wood will be good all right now we can make a woodworking shed uh let's go ahead and just toss that right here it was it was allowing me to put it right there for a second oh right there all right so we'll place that right there uh we're gonna go ahead and get a walkway out here we're gonna expand it out right there we're gonna throw a a storage thing right here that's gonna hold our firewood that way they're not gonna have to run back and forth all the time because that would just be uh silly wait can i put it like right here no of course not and this guy's good all right so firewood we're gonna queue this uh infinitely it's gonna turn dry wood into firewood because that's what we need it for we gotta get water we're only at eight now oh my gosh uh actually you know what hold on let's not do that let's remove some of these because i actually need some rope as well oh it takes dry wood for rope too oh <laughs> firewood first though uh and the reason we need rope is because we need an anchor that's gonna give us three how much do these boats require Oh, those boats require that okay so we're gonna have to have a salvage boat do i have salvage parts i have no salvage parts how am i supposed to get the salvage parts to start with you know i don't know i don't know all right so this guy uh this is going to be none but we're gonna allow it to have uh firewood and dry wood where's dried wood dry wood okay so we're gonna allow those two things to be in there you don't drag these in there right no okay perfect so firewood drywood will go in there that's handy dandy uh but we need some boat stuff and i don't know how to get the scrap to get the first boat actually i don't remember so they cleared out all that plastic already um and i don't think they can access any more of this stuff so let's just go ahead and remove this buoy and then we're gonna have to access this one now i need i need to get over here but i don't have a boat that can get over there right now you know what let's just go ahead and mark this one because then we can at least be bringing wood in uh we'll allow one person to do that and then this person is going to be making the firewood stuff there we go we got some water <laughs> we got, well we got water being queued up i got we'll see how long it actually goes for uh we have 
export. We have two firewood in there. Oh, we need water. Yes, we need some water. All right, it looks like we can make our first little dock deal. Now, the way I want to do this actually is I want to bring this all the way out here like that. And then I'm going to put the dock over here. That way it's not in the way of the uh, the whole city. Oh, geez. I just realized that I just ran out of plastic uh, and I don't we can't put a buoy all the way over here. <gasps> no, let's move this way. Let's do it. Move town because that'll give us maybe closer to the, um, the stuff. All right, let's go. OK. All right. So that looks good. Oh, OK. So it just brought me closer over there. So that's how we're going to get the scrap. OK, cool. Uh, that buoy should be gone now, but we should be able to mark this. Uh, so we're going to get, oh, what are we going to get? We're going to get dry wood. We're going to get scrap. And we're going to get food salvage. All right, let's do it. So we're going to send one person over there to do that. The other people are working on making water. And then I need a boat too. We need plastic. Oh, we need plastic. I don't see, was there plastic on this island? I doubt it. Yeah, no, there's no plastic over here. Darn it. So this island has 30 water on it. But I don't see. Oh, and there's the fishing spots. Oh, we need plastic. We need so much plastic, so much wood and stuff like that right now. Uh, like this would probably be this would be a good area to hit right here. But I don't know if we're gonna have enough stuff. We're not going to move right now because we're obviously sal salvaging a town. But that might be the way we're going to go next. So let's go ahead and set a production limit of firewood to 20. I don't want to let that get out of hand. Um, so once they hit 20, they'll stop making it. They can go do whatever else. Water. We don't need water at 100 right now. We only need water at 40 because I believe that's the max we can currently uh, even make right now, right? Or the max we can hold. Yeah, 40. So this guy. Now we can make more water storage deals, uh, but we need more research points. We don't have that yet. So our food is becoming now an issue. We're going to have to prioritize some things for some people. Um, we're going to have to prioritize uh, landmark salvaging. One person's going to have to be primarily doing that. And then somebody else is going to have to be primarily uh, doing crafting and then water gathering and desalinating. That's going to be their primary. Uh, we're not going to worry about getting rid of any other options. Uh, hauling duties we will second that on both of those uh, and second that on that guy as well. But we need the items from this because it has five food on there. And as soon as we grab that food, we're going to bail. <laughs> we're going to run to that other island uh, that has some plastic on it because we're going to need the oil. We're going to need um, where where was it at? Let's see. Let's see what else is there. This island right here. It has a lot of plastic, a lot of wood, a whole bunch of stuff because we need to get boats going. Oh, we got all kinds of stuff to do. Then once we get boats going, then we can actually get some of these fishing spots done too. Oh, so much to do so much. Actually, is there a spot that has I got to keep in mind how much fuel I have. Um, so like that's too far. So this is as far as I can make it on fuel. So we definitely need to make sure we hit plastic in the next place. So if we hit an island and plastic, that'd be really great. Yeah, I'm going to say this is definitely the most lucrative spot for us to go. And that's going to be next. How's this island looking? Uh, this island's clean and clear. Fantastic. Let's go ahead. Let's get a uh, oh, I can't even get a boat because I don't have plastic. That's right. All right. So I think we're good here. We cleared that island out. Let's go ahead. Let's move to this next area right here and grab some plastic and uh, all this wonderful stuff. I actually really need more plastic, but I don't think I can. I don't think I can get the circle to grab three plastics. I can't. So we'll just try to grab as much as we can off of this one. All right. Move town. Bing, bing. This is so cool. I love. OK, so if you guys didn't play before, uh, before it was very linear. You just kind of picked where you needed to go. You needed like one oil to go to the next place. Uh, this is really cool. I really like how they did this. But now I'm out of fuel, so <laughs> we definitely got to get those things going. Um, oh, look at that. Yes, 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 yes. That is exactly what we need. OK, so what does this island have on it? Uh, it's got five food, 40. It's got some scrap. That's fine. But we need um, ooh, we need like all of this stuff right here. Well, actually, these are is this closer or is this closer? I think this is a little bit closer. Let's go ahead and put some buoys right here. And actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and get plastic first. It's going to be our primary objective. Uh, and then we can get a boat and hopefully start getting stuff that way, too. This does have five food on it, though, so that's going to be super important as well. All right, let's get our mooring point put in here right there. And then we're probably going to get a salvage boat. We don't have any fishing spots in here yet. We do need to get a fishing boat, though, because our food is lacking. now. It's lacking bad. Uh, oh, I got some research points. OK, cool. So first thing we need to go to is we need uh, where is 
is it this one it is this one so this one i do believe gives us more what is this one this is not oh this yeah we need the desalinator and it costs uh some pipes metal scrap and plastic this one is that's what's going to help us get the uh, the things that we need the the water specifically but we're going to need a, a scrap smith in order to get pipes so let's go ahead we'll unlock that guy next and then we have this guy uh can we build a boat we can build a salvage boat yeah salvage boat Woo! <laughs> that's gonna allow us to collect things uh, a little bit faster how's our storage uh 79 out of 160 okay we're looking good water is slowly coming up slowly but i think we're gonna have to hit this guy we gotta get the oh my gosh we gotta get this oil refinery going too uh but that's just weight and plastic so that's not that big of a deal hey, hey we got our first boat awesome um so let's go ahead and put out let's remove that marker and let's just go ahead and put a boat buoy actually let's send a boat here first uh no cancel boats yes all right so that boat will get sent to this island and i think that boat can grab like it can grab a few items more at a time than just like somebody swimming with it obviously because that would not be a good time oh okay so it says right here we get five research points off of this island i was wondering i was like where does it say how much research we get right there boom all right cool so uh five food five scrap and 30 dried wood we're getting a whole bunch of dried wood from these places that's fantastic so i think we're gonna make a larger drying rack uh that's gonna allow us to dry a little bit more at a time but then we should be able to put fish on there if i'm not mistaken right can we even select fish on here oh you can't anymore all right so what are these then fish sticks uh good for drying fish on can dry five items oh all right so that's gonna be a deal let's go ahead and turn that off and let's queue up some more rope so we get some of that going because we're gonna have to go get fish too and then let's go ahead and throw in another buoy right there and then a fishing boat as well that's gonna be a necessity hey fish sticks okay so first little drying rack deal i think we'll put this over here because this is where our boats are right now so they can throw that right into there as soon as they can uh, we do have some things queued up now this is where things kind of get interesting because we are getting to the point where we almost need more people but more people requires more food and more water but in order to make more food and more water efficiently we're gonna need more people to run the buildings you know what i mean so uh it's definitely kind of like a little balancing game but it's uh, it's, it's all right so far all right our long island is done we should have some research points fantastic so that's gonna make the scrap smith um i really really want to get this desalinator made food truck not nah, i don't think it's worth it fishing hut can be handy but i believe you need bait as well fish kebab that would be good but i believe it requires firewood so you have to have somebody making firewood the whole time too but uh that's all right so they're gonna get this boat made up and then we can throw a fishing boat on it, and we should i think actually be able to send a fishing boat right over here to this guy even though it's you know outside of the ring it's on a boat so it should be okay fantastic let's go ahead and throw a fishing boat right here get it built before we forget about it and accidentally use the uh the scrap on something else <laughs> that would not be good um fish sticks and then there's gonna be another fish sticks right here and then once uh once these are good we'll get this boat over and get some fish and hopefully get some food in here because water's doing good water's starting to go up finally thank goodness for that and we have a fishing boat let's go ahead let's place a fishing marker Oh, am I not gonna be able to place it? Oh, that's only 10 fish. Oh no. Okay, so there's two rings. One ring is, uh, I'm guessing this is swimming distance and this is boat distance. So we'll place a marker there. Uh, we're gonna place another one right there. And basically I just wanna make sure that I have all the fish marked because that is gonna give us our food supply for a little bit. So we can't actually even leave because we don't have any oil. So we're gonna have to catch the fish, make the food and then go after the plastic because we got to make the oil refinery <laughs> fantastic look at that we got some fish on the sticks all oh, those fish look so funny those look like huge fish holy moly they're bigger than the drifters they should be able to eat one of those like for a week oh my gosh that's huge okay so those are five are drying i don't know how long it takes for these things to actually dry 180 seconds okay so we'll get five every 180 seconds that's not terrible actually we're gonna get 10 as long as both of them are full so ugh, not the worst thing hopefully it's gonna be enough food for us though wait a second so that was 10. so that means oh my gosh those fish are already cleared out there's no other fish here <gasps> that's not good oh that's not good okay we need to put a salvaging buoy over here we need to get all that stuff um oh my goodness let's start with the plastic first holy moly 
Oh, we got to get that oil refiner going like now. We got to be able to move. All right, oil refinery. Uh, we're going to pop that guy down right here. I believe it's going to need refire wood probably. Oh, I can't make it now. No, they took the plastic for something. There. All right. Oil refinery. Boom. Online. Good. We're going to need that. Oh, look at those fish are done. That might that those two might be good enough for us. Oh, but that, that still means we only caught 20 fish. Oh, I'm a little worried. Oh, wait a second. Is each fish only worth 0.5? Oh, each fish is only worth 0.5. Oh my gosh. I was thinking it was a one full value that I saw 0.5. I was like, uh oh, that, that doesn't look good. All right. Oil refinery. Plastic 30 seconds. Does it not require a fuel? This stuff is bad. It shouldn't be in the ocean. It doesn't look like it requires a fuel, which is actually really nice because I was thinking it was going to require firewood. So I set the limit of oil to 10 because I don't know how much it requires to actually refuel the engine. So I'm actually kind of curious to see what this is going to require. Okay, so it requires five plastic to make one oil. So we're keeping an eye on it and we'll see how much one oil actually gives us in the tank. I don't know if maybe it's like one, two, three, four, and then five. Five is max. Maybe. Well, if five is max here, let's go ahead and drop this down to five just to make sure I could be wrong, but maybe because there's a little notches. So we have five oil in the export uh, and we have a bunch ready to be made. So that's going to give us what? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll do that. Actually, you know what? No, let's just cancel those. Let's just let it make its thing. All right, so that should stop. Um, and Q empty. That's fantastic. We still don't have any town fuel. How do I put you in there? We might have to wait for them to deliver this to this building right here. All right, so I'm. I, this is this is not making its way into the town. So we're gonna have to do. Uh, we're gonna have to prioritize everybody's move stuff first that way hopefully there it goes there it goes there it goes okay let's move it that was five so it looks like 10 each one of these is two all right all right that's good i'm glad i'm i'm happy with that that's completely fine so that got moved Whew, i was a little worried i'm not gonna lie i was like this is a little scary uh we have wood we have plastic we don't have a lot of wood and let me see where the fishing areas are going to be a couple fishing areas right here there is seaweed right there seaweed covered rocks that's gonna allow us to do some things but we need more fish. There are seaweed covered rocks, plastic and wood right here. We're actually not too far off of this one. So that would give us another food source. It'd give us a little bit more food to be made. Um, and we should be able to put uh, boats together, the wood and things like that. We might even be able to, um, we might even be able to knock that guy out too. The factory runs, that would probably give us some fuel. So let's go ahead. Let's pop ourselves down right there. So we're going to about have like a third of a tank left when we get over here. That's fine. All right. We have our new area. Let's see. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. All right. So we got all this stuff. Uh, this guy needs to be checked out and we got to get some food and some watery stuff. Let's see. Fish. Where are these fish? Where's the, where's the fish I was promised? All right. So a little tiny school of fish right there. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. Oh, we got some more people. All right. Cool. Cool. So, uh, yes, we've done it. We've gotten, we've gotten our town started. It is a rocky start, but hey, you know what? It is what it is. So, uh, thank you guys so much for coming out. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save my game. New save, save, uh, yeah, new save, except cool. <laughs> but, uh, we got a new start. It's going well. It's going fun. Hopefully you guys enjoy this episode. Again, I'll have a link down below if you guys want to check it out on Steam. Pretty fun, pretty fun little game. But um, we'll be back next time playing some more. I want to wait. We'll knock out the uh, seaweed covered rocks and rescuing our villagers in the next episode. But we got to get food and water situation figured out. Food primarily now. Water seems to be okay-ish. So uh, yes, but thank you guys for coming out. Have a wonderful time and I'll see you in the next one.